So now to finish off the assembly, we're going to be working on the wiring of it. Now for a lot of people that have never done kit builds like that, the wiring can seem a little bit intimidating, but fear not, it is very, very simple. All of our connectors that we're going to be using are known as Molex connectors. They're these little white pins and they actually have two small little raised bumps on it. And they basically work by only being able to insert it one way. So if you accidentally try and do it the other way, it doesn't go in, it only goes in one way. So we have two different types of wires that we can deal with. We've got our wide connectors and our narrow connectors. The wide ones are gonna go into our stepper motor and the narrow ones are gonna be going into our limit switches since they don't really need all that much information. Now the limit switches are very simple, little buttons that basically tell the machine exactly where the end stop are. So you may notice uh, on a couple different places you actually have little, little switches. And this is exactly how the machine actually knows where the nozzle is while you're printing. So we have one already pre-attached on the Z motor. We have one just next to the QR code on the X axis. And then finally, we're gonna be adding on the Z limit switch. And this is gonna be living on the very, very side of it. And it's a very, very simple electronic component. It is literally just a little lever that hits this little switch and it is connected straight to the motherboard. All it is. So we'll be attaching this to the very side of the frame and everyone's favorites, T-nuts. But these are the very last ones, I promise. Uh, this really doesn't need to be tremendously tight. So as long as we can fit this into our frame and have it in the correct orientation, then that's all we really need. So you can look directly down into it and we can get a pretty good view so that as we rotate the nut, it goes from its vertical orientation to its horizontal. Now we can tighten it up and that is all good. We don't really care about the bottom screw since literally the only force it's ever gonna have to take is this. That's it. Now we can start all of the wiring portions. So next to the component that we just screwed in, you'll see a little wire that's coming out of the motherboard. Now all the wires have got these little yellow orange tags on them and they'll either say X, Y, Z, or E. For the X axis, the Y axis, the Z axis, and finally the extruder motor, which does not have a limit switch. Uh, these very simply push into it and click, and that's really it. So that is our Z limit switch all done. Now we can work on our Z motor. So on the very back side, we have got this wide connector. Remember wide connectors go into motors, the narrow connectors go into the limit switch. Now the wide connector that's coming out of the back simply plugs into the Z motor on the back. And there we go. So now our Z axis is completely finished. Now our Y motor should be completely plugged in. Our Y axis and our limit switch should be plugged in on both of them, but it's just a good idea to check. So we've got this wire coming in for our limit switch. And we've got a cable coming in from the underside that it moves the stepper motor. So we're all good there. So now the only cables to attach are going to be this coming out of the long loom. So we've got our X limit switch, our X motor, and our E motor. We'll start off with a tricky one. The narrow connector is gonna go into the limit switch that is just behind the QR code. And this one can be a little tricky. You may, you may actually need to grab some tweezers to actually push it all the way in. Let's bring this around. There we go, that's fitted in its place. And while we're here, we can also plug in the X motor, which is located just underneath and then right next to it is the E motor. Remember that there is no E limit switch and that will finish off our entire build. Uh, if you want to double check all of your wires, that may be a good idea. We have got an E motor, an X limit switch, an X motor, a Y limit switch, a Y motor, 
and also the black and red cables all the way from that early video. But finally, you have now assembled your very first 3D printer.